Hello everybody, I'm Dragon. I'm Shao Kahn. And I'm Tarly, and we're with Vivid Gamer, and we're the Homeless Heroes. Today we're here to talk to you about the pre Missa Pandaria patch 5.0.4 for World of Warcraft. Upon logging in, you can immediately see the new login screen, which is a lot better than staring at Deathwing. As you can see, the town system and the glyph system have been revamped. Now, what this really adds is a more personal element to the gameplay. You can pick all these different spells, and they don't really affect how well you're playing throughout the, or throughout the game. So, it's just adding a more personal feel to it. Wow, it has a lot more customization now. And the whole glyph system has changed, that there's no more prime glyphs, so your glyphs don't really affect your DPS that much and more have a cosmetic effect. The Death Knight class hasn't really had that many changes, but they have been buffed up again like Blizzard likes to do. They can do this new spell called Conversion, which actively changes their runic power to health, making them almost invincible in a BG. Frost DPS has increased, and since the first time it's been out, you can be in Frost Presence again, and your damage is way better than Unholy. You can now receive a glyph that Death Coil can heal and bubble your teammates, which is very effective in PvE and PvP situations. Blood DKs have been majorly nerfed considering that Death, Co or Death Strike uh, does severely less healing. Boomkin DPS hasn't actually changed that much. Moonfire and Sunfire now both have to be applied on the target at all times, but Insect Swarm is gone completely. Other than that, their DPS rotation has not changed. But you can get a new glyph that removes boomkin form and you just look like you have stars for falling on you. So for people like me who actually don't like the way boomkins look, that's a great glyph for you. You can also get permanent tree form. This tree form has no effect unless you use incarnation, which will turn you into the good healing tree. But other than that, you can still run around looking like this and be goofy. Druids also now have a fourth spec for tanking and feral DPS. So now they're two completely different specs. But other than that, that's about it for Druid. Priests haven't gone through that many changes as well. Shadow Priests just seem to do a lot more damage than they used to. Discipline Priests have really not changed at all. And Holy Priests kinda got the shaft. Instead of Chakra being automatically applied, it's more taken as a stance, which makes healing a lot more button pushing and more difficult as Holy, so you might as well just play Disc. As you can see, the Shaman Talents are more or less defensive than anything. They don't really have a good offensive one until you get to about level 60. And after that, I mean, they make you pick between, like, the Elemental Shaman's greatest aspect, Elemental Mastery, and then they give, you know, the Elemental, like, Mastery, actual Mastery, to everybody. I just think that's kind of dumb. As you see for the Warriors, the first tier is all about charging. I think this is really awesome. I personally picked the Warbringer because I like the stun because I mainly tank on mine. Another aspect I found was cool is that you have to pick between Bladestorm, Shockwave, and a new spell, Dragon Ball, which knocks everybody back and gives Warriors that perfect opportunity to get that extra charge in just to screw over rogues. Hunters haven't changed that much since the patch. The only thing that really has changed is the no minimum range, but the plus side is that hunters do get like the coolest spells in the game. They get glaive throw, which they throw basically two giant glaives at you, reducing your movement speed and everyone in between you and the target. They also get power shot, which they fire a massive power shot that does a crap load of damage and it hurts anybody in between you and the target again. And then they have barrage, which they fire a spray of bullets everywhere in front of you, hurting everyone. The first great change to the Warlock talents is the fact that you can get enhanced pets that do 20% more damage. As you can see, I have the Observer out, which replaces the Fell Hunter for Affliction Warlocks. Now, another thing I thought was pretty weird was the talent Burning Rush. You lose 4% of your maximum health and increase your movement speed by 50%. I personally view this as a pointless talent. Hey guys, this is Shao Kahn here, and I'm going to be going over the trademark Shao Kahn, the rogue. Now, let's take a look at the big things, the talents. Your first talent tree level area is all stealth based. This one, I really like it. Doesn't break your stealth for three seconds. That's three ambushes, people. That's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. Next one, really defensive, utility based, health, uh, movement based, 
all the time thing. It breaks it all down so all of them do pretty much the same thing in a different way. Um, I don't know. Subtlety and combat are the same now as they used to be. And you can actually play assassination. Um, really up to you on the rogue. Alright, now let's take a look at the paladin. Now, what's really exciting about the paladin is that the shockadin has made a return. You can heal and do damage pretty disgustingly. It's horrific. Now, all things are pretty cool. What's really awesome is this one right here. Do a little clip like that. Ashbringer on everybody. <laughs> so all these are movement based, stun based, um, healing, hands, and then back into other stuff. Um, now what I'm really pumped up about the Paladin is that uh, being a Shockadin, your healing is also, it's it's really great. It's really, it's fantastic. I had one Holy Power right there and I did a 36k Word of Glory. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm so happy that I can be OP again on everybody. Alright, now I saved the best for the last, the mage. Now, like, I don't want to sound biased or anything, but these guys are the best class. Hands down, they're awesome. Um, Scorch is now a talent. Cast it while moving, no matter what. I think that was that's old news. That's old news. Ice Barrier, awesome. Ring Frost, awesome. Cauterize, it's alright. It's okay. Uh, Cold Snap is better. Uh, these bombs, I'll show you one of these bombs later on. Now, um... Some things I change about this, Inferno Blast. Guaranteed crit, and it spreads your uh, Living Bomb, Pyro Blast, and Ignite Combustion effects up to two people, so a little cleave pull, it's glorious. Now I'll just beat on this dude a little bit, just to give you a famous threshold. Now, <clears throat> I don't have any add-ons, so just still floating from that. Um, I'm really, really pumped up about these guys. It's a lot of damage, and it just feels cool. You're like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm throwing fire down and everything in front of me dying. It's nothing. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. I'm not hit capped either, and I'm not here. Okay, here we go. Whoops. One. Down there. And then, after you spread it, it just... S hits the H. It's madness. Oh, oh, free power blast. Okay, I'm going to stop, because I'm going to get really excited. Tarly again. Now as you can see the dungeon finder, raid finder, and scenario screens are all on the same screen now. And now you can see the Theramore's Fall scenario event is set up but locked and it will become available on September 18th. But will only be available for a week until Missa Pandaria launches. And we're going to bring you the full review of that scenario as it happens. They've also updated the pet journal and the mount journal, making it this nice interface for you to see every pet that you have and what level it is for pet battling. Though you can't do pet battles yet, you can at least take a look at what the interface looks like. The new LFR loot system is in place, and as soon as I down this boss, you'll be able to see... Uh, there. A new window will pop up, and everybody gets their own loot roll now instead of rolling against everybody else. As you can see there, I just got a bag of 25 gold, but I could have equally had the chance of getting uh, a tier piece or a wand or a stab, you know, etc. Stuff, something that would drop off that boss, but I'm not rolling against anybody else. It's my own personal roll. But the loot systems can be still however you want it for normal and heroic mode rating. Well, that's about it for patch 5.0.4. For more news on World of Warcraft and for more episodes of Homeless Heroes, stay tuned at vividgamer.com.